January 19, New Focus For I am the Lord, I change not. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, King James Version Recently, during my devotions, I focused on the verses in Malachi chapter 3, verses 6 to 12. They are often quoted when the tithes and offerings are being collected during worship services. But for many, because of repeatedly hearing these words, these verses may sound mundane. However, I discovered a new and deeper meaning as I meditated on this passage. I realize it can be summarized in the following four points. Number one, affirmation. God declares He does not change. In fact, the tithing system reaches back beyond the days of Moses. When men were required to offer to God gifts for religious purposes before the definite system was given to Moses, even as far back as the days of Adam. We have the example of Cain and Abel bringing their first fruits to the Lord. Genesis chapter 4 verses 3 and 4. Therefore, we are to understand that God expects the same from us today. Number two, accusation. In addition to the pronouncement in Malachi chapter 3 verse 6, God says that we are the ones who have changed. Ever since the time of your ancestors, you have turned away from my decrees and have not kept them. Malachi chapter 3 verse 7 We are further accused of robbing God. Verses 8 and 9 This sounds like a threefold charge. Turning away from Him, not keeping His commands, and robbing Him. Number three, admonition. However, we are not left without hope. There is recourse for us as we deal with the accusations. The Lord instructs us that first we must return. Return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord Almighty. Verse 7. Next, we must bring something. Bring the whole tithes into the storehouse. Verse 10. In other words, stop robbery. Number 4. Accumulation. Finally, Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 throws out a challenge to prove me. When we test the Lord, the promise is that there will be an outpouring of blessing to the point where we will not have enough room to accommodate them. In addition, God will prevent pests from destroying the crops and also the fruit will not drop in the fields before it is ripe. When we obey His commands, there will always be meat in His house, and we can be the channels He uses to bless others. Claudine Houston